Okay, so now that we know how to find the right service and repair facility, what should consumers expect when we get there? Well, tell you what, let's go inside and we'll take a look. Now this is what I like to see, clean and neat. Hmm. A clean waiting area and restroom tells me that the service center takes pride in its work. And did you notice there's some ASC certificates on the wall? Yeah, I saw those. Now, tell me, what can I expect when I come in for a service or repair? Well, first, the service consultant at the check-in desk is going to listen to you. He or she wants to know what your concerns are and gather as many clues as possible to help identify and fix the problem like unusual sounds, vibrations or smells, check engine light, things like that? Exactly, things like that. Just describe the symptoms and let them find the problem and cure. And whether you've come in for a simple oil change or a more extensive repair, expect a courtesy inspection to see if there are any other concerns. Now, Terry, that's when a customer can get nervous. Hey, I admit that I'm worried about having to spend more money than I'd planned and maybe doing something that really doesn't need to be done. Well, CJ, that's natural. I kind of find it helps me to think of it like going to the doctor. I love it when I get a clean bill of health at my annual physical. The doctors have run routine tests and they perform diagnostics. They call it preventive medicine. Now at a repair facility, it's called preventive maintenance. Your vehicle inspection is a lot like that. First, the technician looks at what maintenance services your vehicle manufacturer has recommended for your mileage and reminds you of what should be done. Then a visual inspection can identify leaks, worn belts or hoses, even the suspension or alignment problems. All those things that, if you take care of them right away, can prevent costlier repairs later. Now, an important part of what a service advisor or shop owner or technician does is help prioritize which items need to be taken care of right away for safety reasons or because they can lead to immediate damage. They then look at what can safely be put off to next month to help with your budget. For more car care tips, visit carcare.org. We wish you safe and happy motoring.